Yeah, two giant questions. That meeting is going on right now. The superintendent filling questions from hundreds of parents who have jammed into the auditorium here. Uh, they are not allowing cameras in there because they want. To, they say they want to have as open a dialogue as possible. One parent, though, standing up in front of this crowd, saying that her kids. She has two kids there, and they are terrified to be at this school. Why even afraid to drink the water at the school? You had kids coming up asking why they didn't know uh, more about this earlier. All of this started when 20 teachers put their names to a letter expressing concern about those exact conditions. They're not entirely sure where it is coming from or what might be in the soil or the air here. But what has parents really up in arms at this point, Aaron, is that they didn't hear about it from the school first. They had to hear about it either by word of mouth or the media. What is your level of concern at the moment? Only um, that I want to make sure that the kids are safe, obviously. Um, I know some of these things get blown out of proportion pretty easily. I just wish that they had let us know what was going on beforehand. Will you trust them going forward? I would like to. I hope I can. Um, it depends what kind of studies they're doing and who's doing them. Um, parents have talked about saying, you know, well, if we don't trust what they are doing, perhaps we won't have an independent study done as well. Are you considering pulling your daughter out of school here? Yeah, considering it, we'll see what happens today at half past three. And a lot of parents have pulled their kids out. We don't know how many at this point. I think they're still trying to grapple with all of this. The school now developing a plan to test uh, broad areas of the school, different buildings in the school, and trying to figure out how they can actually go about testing and what to test for. Uh, they did say that at least one building starting tomorrow will be emptied out of students, and all of those students will be moved to other classrooms. That brought applause from that room, Erin. All right, Miguel, thank you very much. Raises serious questions for anyone anywhere around the country when you think about what you don't know about your school or where you work and what's out there.